Acts 1, verse 8. We'll start at verse 7. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times of the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Again, Christ calls his church to receive power to be witnesses of him everywhere. Jerusalem, in the hometown, here in the community of Northport. So many dying in sin. So many on drugs. So many living a, a worldly life. So many fornicating, fighting, hating, drinking, smoking. We've got to do something about it. We've got to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to destroy these bands of wickedness, setting this community down to hell. God has you, church, to be in this community as a light to those shining in darkness. God says an axe has determined the bounds and habitations of where each person is supposed to be. God has directed you here to reach the people headed to hell without Jesus Christ. He said in Psalm 81, verse 10, He's the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Open your mouth wide. He will fill your mouth with his words. He says when you're let up, take no thought before him. What you shall speak, neither do you premeditate. For shall be given you in the same hour what you shall speak. For it's not you that speak, but the spirit of your father which will speak in and through you. Amen. You don't have to worry about what shall I say to this person or that. The Holy Ghost will speak through you, and you just give him a voice. The Lord needs us to speak for him. Our bodies are his temple. Our minds are the mind of Christ. The world cannot see nor sense him. Scripture says, except you be born again, you can either see or enter the kingdom of God. But we who are in his kingdom, we have to be gatekeepers. We have to be ambassadors of Christ and tell them to repent, believe, or perish. That's our job, our mandate from heaven. We're to occupy till he comes. Jesus himself preached. Now he commanded us to preach. Yeah. Go with me to Matthew chapter 4, please. We're discussing tonight, these signs shall follow them that believe. The first thing we're discussing is what Christians in the church must do for signs to follow. And initially, Christians in the church must obey Christ's command to preach the gospel. Matthew 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, yes. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Notice what Christ did not say. Yes. He did not say, Smile, I love you. I have a wonderful plan for your life. He did not say, Oh, it's okay. Your sin's just a mistake. All you have to do is, uh, you know. He didn't say any of those things today. He said, Repent. Repent has almost sadly become a cuss word in the church and in the world. Yeah. It's in the world because we're even in the church. But Christ was unashamed and bold to proclaim, Repent! Yeah. And we must go to them and tell them, Repent! Amen. The disciple is not greater than his Lord. Right. If Jesus preached it, we need to preach it. Right. Scripture says if people don't repent in Luke 13, verse 3 and 5, they will perish in hell. Amen. 2 Timothy 2, 24 and 26 says, If peradventure God will grant them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, they might recover them to let us stare and chat with the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Yes. People who have not repented are bound by Satan. That's right. By us telling them they need to repent, they can be convicted and see their need and repent, believe, and be saved. Yes. We must announce it to them. Because secular humanism, the world, work, Media, every, every, all these things tell people, oh, you're okay. Amen. Yep. If your sin is just a mistake. Yeah. You, were, you were born that way. You can't help it. Then the world tells them, oh, being a homosexual is okay. We were just preaching recently at the University of Auburn. As we were preaching, and usually two to three hundred people were out there railing against the gospel. Some were open. Yeah. The so-called homosexual Christian group comes out. Uh -uh. Come on trying to preach. Yes. One came out of the Bible. Yes. Trying to preach. This is the fault of the church. Yes, it is. If we have stood up against the evils of this world yes. and not back down, yes. the homosexual will know they'll never be accepted to God's kingdom unless they repent, believe, and sin no more. That's right. Amen. Amen. You're right. Amen. You're right. Amen. 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 Others are out there uh, proclaiming abortion. Proclaiming
flaming fornication, yeah. lesbians, and drunkenness. Yeah. And the church has sat idly by. Come on yeah. now. And have been waiting for people to come in the doors. Come on. Yeah. The heart is plenteous. Yeah. The labors are few. Let's labor for Jesus watch yet day for night comes when no man can work. Come on now. The night is always upon us. Yes, yes, yes. The night of sin, the night of damnation, the night of the lake of fire. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. People all around us are headed to hell. Maybe your family, maybe my family. Yeah. Christ was moved with compassion. Are we? We have the only answer in the universe. That's right. right. That's right. right. We've got to tell them. Yes. Yes. We can't say that we love Jesus and love them if we don't tell them. That's right. Amen. If you saw the natural someone die in a fire and you turn your back, yeah. in a court of law, you'd be guilty of homicide. You could have done yeah. something. Yeah. How much more spiritually, if we don't reach them, are we guilty before God? Turn with me to Ezekiel chapter 3, please. We're discussing these signs shall follow them to believe. But if we don't go out and preach, there's nothing, there's nothing for, him to, for the signs to confirm for our right. preaching the word. That's right. Amen. Ezekiel 3. Church, we need to get up and we need to get going wherever we are. If it's the work environment, if it's the recreational environment, it's the family, we need to get the word out to everyone we meet. Jesus said it. And he means what he said. Amen. Let's see the consequences if we choose not to do this. Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee watchmen unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yeah. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Amen. Deliverance does not just occur when he first repent, but even Christ is not to obey. Deliverance occurs every moment that we live, that we meet someone, and we choose to either obey the Lord and preach to them or not. Mm -hmm. Once saved, always saved is alive in the devil. Ah. Any sin separates from God, ah. including the sin of not preaching the gospel. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it is sin. Mm -hmm. It's usually not preached that way, but the Bible preaches it that way. Christ commands it. He will judge me for not doing it. He will judge you for not doing it. Yeah. Turn me to Exodus chapter 32, please. The book of Exodus. These signs shall follow them to believe. First step is we have to preach the word. The fear of the Lord needs to be back in the church in the hearts of professed believers. Exodus 20, 20 says, fear the Lord. Keep his fear before your face and sin not. Yeah. There's so much sin with so little fear of God. Right. Look at what Exodus 32, 33 says. And the Lord said unto Moses, whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Notice the Lord here does not specify what sins will cause one to be blotted out. Yes, right. any sin will do. Knowing what's good and not doing it in any area, that is sin. Mm -hmm. Transgressing the law in any area, that is sin. Romans 14, 23, whatsoever is not of faith, it is sin. That is sin. Yeah. Turn me to Revelation 20, verse 15. 